Hi everyone. In this recording, I wanted to talk about a new app that I've been playing with called Feedly. Um, now, I first came across Feedly via Mike Taylor. Uh, he wrote a post and uh, Feedly, and this is how he uses it, is a way of, of I guess, um, managing all the different flows of information from all different places. So I thought I'd give it a try because I guess at the moment I'm following blogs via email or you, you see things on websites or uh, YouTube channels or those kinds of things and it's kind of a little bit all over the place. So I, I guess I'm looking for a way of trying to streamline that and kind of manage that a little bit better. So on, on um, I guess Mike's advice, I'm, I'm gonna, I was giving Feedly a go, so I want to do a quick recording to share with you what I've found so far. So Feedly is free. Uh, there is paid versions, um, but at the moment I'm just going to use the, the free version. And there's kind of, from what I can tell, there's essentially a couple of things. There's one called, a section called Feeds over here on the on the left. Now, I should also mention, um, to, to log into Feedly, you can use your Google account or Facebook or you can create an account uh, and, and that. I'm also going to use um, Chrome as my um, as the browser here and there's a reason why and I'll, I'll talk about uh, that a little bit later. So yeah, there's essentially a couple of things. One is called Feeds and uh, from what I can tell, that's where you kind of pull the information from. So you can create all different feeds. You can have different topics or uh, different sections of one topic. So mine is generally going to be around learning, e-learning, that kind of thing. So um, I'm also just starting off, so I haven't finished it yet. But what I've done is I've set up a couple of um, some categories, so different blog sites and, and some people there, um, some sites for, to, that are to do with you know design, um, you know YouTube channel that sort of thing. Okay, and I'll keep adding to that. Maybe more more sites and more um, um, categories. Uh, I'll keep adding to, to that. Then there's another thing called boards where you can almost have kind of topic areas from what I can gather. And you could potentially have different bits and pieces from your different feeds and then gather them and put them onto a board. So if you, if you see something on your feeds that you want to sort of save for later in a group, you could you can post it to a board. So you can do those couple of things. They seem to be the main sort of things that you can, you can do with Feedly. So as an example, I've got here um, Helen Blunden's site, which I'm going to add to my feeds um, to do with blogs. So um, all you need to do is just copy the um, site and just in this search function, I can paste it in there and hit enter and it will come up and then we have some results. So here she is here and I can choose then to follow her. So with, with what I've noticed with Feedly is you follow people, I guess in a similar way that you do on Twitter and that sort of thing. So if I follow Helen, then it's going to ask me, well, where do I want to, you know, put that feed? So I want to put her in the blogs feed. So I want to add to that. Okay. And now if I look back over on the left, she's now in my blogs feed. So as she, as she posts new things, they'll come up in my, my feed. So um, before uh, I'd see, I'd get an email like I do with the, a lot of the other blogs, just tell me that the person's put out a new blog set. So I'm kind of thinking that I probably won't need to just subscribe to sites, blogs via email anymore if I've got them all coming through Feedly and then I just have to log in here and then I'll see everything all in one place right? even if they put anything uh, new. So that's that's one way and you can keep going through that and that's what I essentially need to do uh, as well. You can do uh, keyword searches and it doesn't have to be blogs, you can do news sites or, or all different things but for, for me for now that's what I'm going to stick with. Then we have say some boards here so different, some different topics, um, you know, and this is where I wanted to show you why I'm using Chrome is, so say in this accessibility board, so these are kind of groups of stuff, I guess, from maybe from your feeds. Um, I came across this website on um, visual design for accessibility in, in e-learning uh, and I can actually save that web page to one of my boards. So um, I'll show you how to do that because it's really easy. So I've got this, it, this was, it was a blog post, but it, it, uh, it could be anything. So this is a, a post from um, Ryan Tracy on learning theories. Now, the reason why I use Chrome as the um, browser here is because you can download a free extension called a save to Feedly board extension. 
which here puts it in, in um, and on the top bar here. So if you just happen to be on a web page that you think, hey, I want to grab that because I might want to refer back to that later or something of interest, um, you can you can grab it. And if I click on this little this little star symbol, it's going to ask me, well, which board do I want to save it to? Okay, so I want to save it to my learning theory board. I guess I could save it to a couple of boards if I wanted to. So it's saved to there now. So I'll come back to my Feedly. Now I may need to refresh the page. Oh, and there it is. It's in the, the learning theory. It's saved it there to, um, to my board. And the boards, I think, from what I can tell, can potentially have a mixture of, of web pages, or maybe videos, all different types of things. Um, so they're kind of the main things I've, I've found um, uh, out about Feedly to start with. I guess the other thing is um, the little numbers here, they seem to be like how many posts you've got you know, uh, recently that have come through that might be unread. Um, the other thing you can do, and because I've signed in with Google, it's used my um, Google profile. Um, I can play around with that. Um, there is You can also go in and do some reorganization of your feeds. So... If you decided you wanted, you can add your new collections here, um, new feed here. I can, if there was, say, a, a site that I decided I didn't want anymore, I could take it out. I could get rid of the whole, um, the whole, f that group of feeds altogether, or I could change the name of it, all those kinds of things. So I found that was a little bit hidden um, being up there in your, in, you've got to go to your profile to, to get to that. Um, to get to that particular settings. But look, so far so good with, with Feedly. Um, I guess it means it's coming, everything's coming into the one place. I guess for me, it'll just be getting into the habit of, you know, going on to here regularly. Um, when I started, you know, playing around with it, I did watch a couple of YouTube clips on, on Feedly um, that, you know, where people had shared some sort of how-tos. I, I felt they didn't really go into too much detail. It was just more of an overview about it. Um, but I'll, I'll post some more videos as, as I kind of learn more things with it. Um, and, and I guess the other thing you can do is if I, say I'll go to um, maybe this learning solutions feed, um, there in the feed itself there, there's a little drop down arrow here where you can uh, play around with how you want it to view. So at the moment I've got it set to the cards view, but there's like the magazine view, um, or the title only view, which kind of just this looks like an email. So I mean, I just I guess I just like the cards view, so I went with that. Um, and what you can do from here is if I click on an article, okay, I can um, I could save the story to a board. I can share the article from Feedly here to some of my other social media sites. So you can it is it feels a little bit like it could be a bit of a one stop sort of shop. Um, but I, but I guess it's it's early days yet. But you know, so far so far so good. Um, I guess it's there's still a lot of things coming through. But I think for me, it's, it'll be handy to have everything in the one place. All right, well, that's a, a bit of a start with with Feedly. Um, hope that was helpful. But um, that's what I've uh, found with Feedly so far.